up guys, it's Daniel in Houston and Emily from Amphibia Homestead and we are going to be fishing in the creek. Going fishing in the creek today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it on. So I told you guys the other day, if the creek got up, the sand bass, or white bass as they're technically called, would come up the creek out of the lake. Happens in the spring every year if the creek gets up at the right time and uh, you just get your little light duty fishing gear your favorite fishing partners and take off down the creek and uh, hopefully you catch a bunch of these sand bass and maybe get lucky and even find a mushroom or two y'all know what mushrooms are yeah you like finding mushrooms yeah, yeah. Reel him in, buddy. Oh, it's a little one. Reel it up. <laughs> no, we're not switching spots. That is roll. Caught a little one, Houston. Same one, probably. No, that's a different fish. Don't reel it anymore. Look at that fish. We're not switching. Yeah, you fish. caught a little one, Houston. That one was the first. What is it, Bella? What is it, Bella? Hmm? What is it? Hold him on fire. Bella, get back. Oh. Emily's got her first one. It's probably because of that bright orange OSU jacket, huh? Uh, Can we keep it? Yeah, we'll keep it. You gonna touch it, Houston? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, you can do it. You got this, girl. There you go. Now come out of his mouth. Come out. There you go. Now slide him down. Number two. This thing is up. We're having a competition, though. We ain't better win it. Emily got another one. Good job, sis. Are we keeping that one? Well, we got three on the stringer so far. We caught uh, five fish. We threw the first couple back. Check this out. They're a random herd of goats back there. Wonder who those belong to. <laughs> Don't fall down, Emily. Move your booty. <laughs> really, man? Don't let him whoop you. Hang on, Emily's tangled around your line again. Y'all are all tangled up together, aren't you? Did it come off? Ooh, look at there. Hold your pole down a little lower. Lower your pole down. Lower it down. Keep the line tight, buddy. All right, now let's pull him up here. Ooh. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Good that's, job, Houston. That's a good one. That was a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Go Better get over here and get ready in case I catch one. It's real, Emily. Guys, we got a lot of fish. Big fish. We're catching big oh, fish. That's doing good. Really, man. Here it comes. It's a big one. All right, pick him up. Pick him up. Oh, good job, Houston. Way to go, buddy. I like this fish. How many have you caught? Uh, five, four, seven. Five or seven. Don't go way down there, Houston. You won't be able to throw it, buddy. Oh, crap. You're already across the log. <sighs> Let's go get him unhung again. Didn't. You didn't get one? No. I got one. So I'm really struggling right now between 1,900 hang-ups. Um, then I finally get a chance to throw a line out and actually catch a fish. And as I'm reeling it in, here's the fish. I get a phone call on my phone because, you know, I don't want to bring the big camera down here. And, uh, yeah. What the heck? Did you get it unhung? Yeah. You're scaring me. 
Oh, I roll it up a little bit more. Wow. Are you serious? Uh, are you serious? You threw it like three feet. So this is literally what I grew up doing. I grew up on this creek fishing, hunting and things, and I couldn't think of a better thing to do than to bring my kids down here and teach them about this stuff. I but already I'm, knew how to fish because we fish at the pond a lot. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. Fishing with all these trees and limbs and sticks and junk everywhere and trees overhanging and with a five-year-old and a nine-year-old is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. What'd you do? I just threw it five feet. Just threw it five feet. It's a lot of work. And then I finally get a fish on camera. And then my phone rings. Ah. But we'll keep trying. Houston, are you struggling back there? Yeah. Good cast. Woo! It's a success. Might be a big one. You think so? Oh, it's dang sure big enough to eat. I know that. Yeah, it is. Heck yeah. Dude, your lure just went zoom, right by my head. <laughs> You almost hooked me. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it went. That was so close. <laughs> Got one on your own this time? I think. You think? Or are you hung up? Not hung up, I'm sure. You're sure? I'm pretty sure you're well, him in. Let's see him. I don't know if I believe you yet. Oh, Dad. Pull him up. Get him up here on the bank. Woo, good job, Houston. That's a big one. Yeah. That's the biggest one we caught. No, it's not. Dad, I mean, Emma, this is a big one. Good job. You caught that one by yourself. You casted it and reeled it in all by yourself, buddy. Yeah, I sure did. And there's just one thing you can't deny. It is so calm and peaceful down here. The wind's not blowing at all. We're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it's just an amazing time. A great, great place to spend time with the kids. We have a lot of fun down here on the creek. You know, it's it's uh, it's easy to get all worked up in the, you know, dude back there having a hard time keeping untangled from everything. And Emily over here, I think she lost like five or six of our jigs. So we're always tangled up, but they're learning and getting better at it. And, you know, this is just, uh, this is history for my family. You know, there, when I was a kid, there wouldn't be just like me and one or two people down here. There would be 10 or 15 guys down here fishing. And uh, our house was kind of the hub. There would be people there cleaning fish for hours. These sand bass would just be in here by the thousands. And we'd carry out stringer after stringer and have these big fish fries. And it was a lot of fun. We got a great time. And uh, we caught enough fish today that we're going to go home and clean these things up. And we're going to have fish for supper this evening. And Houston's hollering. He needs help getting his hook unloose. Not sure what that means. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to go uh, load these fish up and we're going to haul them back to the house and, and clean them and fry them and just have a great meal with the family. Emily, are you going to carry those fish back to the no, house? No. Why not? These are heavy. My hands are burning. Looks like supper. You did a good job. Bella, you did a good job too, girl. Alrighty, Houston. It's time to start cleaning fish. How many did we end up with? Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we threw quite a few back. We didn't keep all that we caught. We just wanted to keep just enough that we could come home and have a nice fish fry this evening. So mom's in the house getting things ready and Houston and I are going to get these fish cleaned up out here. Now I know somebody's going to rag on me a little bit because I cheat and I use an electric fillet knife, but uh, it's just so much faster. And they're sand bass. If I was cleaning catfish and wanted to skin them out and save every little bit of meat, that would be a better option than a fillet knife. But with these sand bass, oh yeah, they'll just fillet right off perfectly. Super easy. So I'm just going to take my fillet knife and I go in behind the head and under that fin. 
make a cut down about halfway through the fish until you hit the spine and turn and go down the spine. Flip him over and just fillet the skin right off. That's a good looking fillet. So we got all of our fish filleted. The next step is to come in and cut the rib bones out. And I'm going to be using this awesome little handmade knife that was sent to us by uh, River Mountain Homestead. Uh, go check those guys out there. They make some really cool knives. They sent one to me. They sent one to Dutch and Jason over at Cog Hill Farm. We're going to use this thing to cut the rib bones out of these sand bass fillets. So after we after we filleted the fish, this is all bones right here. This is all ribs. You just take your knife and kind of follow around that rib cage. And you've got a nice clean fillet without any bones in it. So we've got our fish in the house. Got all our fillets nice and cleaned up. Just going to be cooking the fish on the stove tonight. Typically, we if we were cooking a lot of fish, we'd be outside, fire up the uh, outdoor cooker and and have a big pot so if we're going to cook a lot of fish it goes a lot faster that way but we're having some good old-fashioned fried potatoes can't go wrong with fried potatoes beans we're gonna make some, got some macaroni and cheese and we're cooking we're gonna be cooking our uh, fish in just peanut oil it's the best thing in the world for frying fish but we gotta let that oil get hot so i'm gonna come over here take my fillets i've had them soaking in some nice cold water rinsed it several times and i'm gonna mix up my batter I've got some uh, Louisiana crispy fish, crispy fish fry. This is good stuff. I love this stuff. But I'll use this and I'll just add in some cornmeal so we have enough. Throw it all in a Ziploc bag, bag, add some seasoning, salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of paprika, you know, just whatever suits your taste. Onion powder, garlic powder, things like that. Fish is super easy to fry. And these sand bass or white bass fillets, if you want to be technical, are nice and thin. Won't take long to cook at all. Houston, while our oil's heating up over there, can you uh, put some fish in that bag and shake it up? Yeah, but I need something to grab it. Oh, no, you don't. I don't like it. Just reach, it's just reach like in there and grab it. or anything else. Just grab it. Just keep piling it in there, Houston. Or Mom. Houston's not really doing it. We're up to about 310 degrees, Mom. We're not quite there yet, but the fish is ready to go in the grease as soon as the grease is ready for the fish. Mom's ready for the grease. Mom's She's hungry. ready for the fish yeah. in the grease. I'm hungry. You're hungry. Oh, yeah. So frying just about any freshwater fish like this is super easy. You just drop it in the oil and that fish will float when it's about ready. Um, then you can kind of look at it and see how, how done you like it. My wife likes hers nice and crispy, so she wants it to float for quite a while. You hungry? Yeah. I just want macaroni. What's the matter with you, boy? Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. yeah. We're floating. We're floating. I can't wait to eat. So while we're cooking all this fish, you know, there's a, there's a channel out there on YouTube that I've watched for a long time. It's called Deer Meat for Dinner, and uh, Rob Arrington is the guy's name. They've only got about, I don't know, 700,000 subscribers, but they just do a phenomenal job of showcasing this lifestyle. They live the same kind of lifestyle we do, except they're in Florida and they're on the coast, but they do a lot of hunting and fishing, and Rob does a great job of of showing they go out they go out into the woods and, and harvest you know deer or pigs or fish or conch or sharks or whatever it is they harvest bring it home sit down as a family cook it have a great meal if you haven't heard or haven't watched deer meat for dinner go check that channel out i'll leave a link to that channel rob is um seems like an amazing guy i love watching his channel it really inspires me to do more here with the kids and get people more involved to get my family more involved he's such a awesome family guy anyways let's get back to cooking fish houston taste that fish tell me how it is i did it we'll taste it on camera and tell me how it tastes look at it 
It's good. It's good. What's Emily's thoughts? It's good. It's good. That's all you got. All right, mom. Mm -hmm. We need the official word from mom. It is the bomb. The bomb. The bomb. The bomb. The bomb. The I think it's because I, I battered it. It's because mom battered the fish. Mm -hmm. I think it's because it went from the creek next to our house to our plate in two hours, mm -hmm. something like that. That could be it too. Yeah, fresh fish straight out of the creek next to our house. That's awesome. I love it. Mm. So delicious. So good. I guess I should eat some too, huh? I'm just a So good. Mm. So good. Yeah, a little much. <laughs> Haters gonna say it's fake. <laughs> so real. It's awesome stuff. Mm. We're gonna sit here, enjoy a family meal, a fish caught out of our creek. Guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. And as Houston says, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. That was kind of loud. <laughs>